Yes, Father, you are Jehovah Jireh. Yes, Lord. Lord, you are a covenant keeping God. Yes, Lord. Lord, you are the ancient of thee. Amen. Lord, you are the master of all masters. Yes, Lord. By the measure of your name, every name must bow. bow God. And every tongue must confess that Jesus Christ that Jesus is the Lord. Lord. Father, every all the enemy of righteousness. All those that want to waste our souls, all those enemy has prepared to send us to hell, all the enemy of distraction, all the enemy, O oh Lord, of delay, all the enemy of disappointment, all the enemy of hatred, all the enemy of sickness, Lord where they are. Amen. Lord, I ask you this morning, you will judge them. Amen. That in every God that he created us, that want to take dominion over us, Father, let those power be put to shame in the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. 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 This morning to arise Amen. and fight our battle. Amen. Amen. Arise and stop them that want to stop us. Amen. Father, arise and frustrate those that want to frustrate us. Amen. Oh, I pray this morning, oh Lord, my Father, that this issue of coronavirus that is, Father, you will show mercy upon the whole world. Amen. Father, that the whole world has confused. Hmm. Not that the Italian government has confused. Not that the daughters in the world have confused. Father, you are not confused, Lord. You are the great daughter. Father, we depend on you. Lord, we rely on you. Yes. You ask us to call on you in the days of trouble. Father, mm -hmm. you will rescue us. Now we are mm -hmm. calling you. That is why you are God. We ask you to answer us. Father, because mm -hmm. we know you are not a deaf and dumb God. You yeah. hear all that with Lord. Lord, mm -hmm. I pray for your daughter, oh Lord, my father that they are going to be buried their mother today. Holy Ghost, I ask you to take a solo control. Amen. Father, I ask you, Father, let everything go well. Lord, Amen. I pray my Father in glory, all the projects of the devil will not stand. Lord, Amen. I pray my Father, every man or woman that want to bring confusion there, Father, you will surrender that person in the name of Jesus. Amen. Fight you properly. <laughs> Absolute control. Jesus, we ask you, Holy Ghost, to go before them. Holy Ghost, Amen. we ask you this morning that you will have your way in the land. In the name of Jesus. Lord, Amen. our sister that are in the hospital before your hand. Lord, we are discharging her right now in the hospital. Father, Amen. we discharge her in that hospital. Father, Amen. on that day, you say, lose him and let him go free. Go. Set him free. We set her free right now. Oh, by your power, we set freedom. Holy Ghost, Amen. by your power, we set freedom. Lord, we pour us freedom. We pour us freedom. We pour us free right now. We pour us free right now. Father, this Amen. Prayer of agreement. Father, we are praying right now that you will have your way. Father, if you a woman, oh Lord, that lost her husband, my father, that the only you can comfort her. Only you can with her. Only you can restore her. Only you, my father, Holy Ghost, we ask you to go ahead because you are the husband of the windows, Lord. Father, you will be with her. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Father, have your way, Lord. Father, yes, today yeah. is in your hands. We ask you to guide us. We mm -hmm. ask you to protect us and see us through. That at the end of today, we will have the cause to rejoice, Lord. Amen. I pray for every Amen. member of this group. Lord, you will be with them. That Amen. Amen. Lord, you say, Blessed are those who have not seen, but hear. Father, Amen. as many those that have not seen me, but they hear about this group, they believe, say, No, we, I want to follow. 
Lord, let your blessing be released upon them. Let your testimony follow them. Let your miracle follow them. Lord, even Amen. those that listen to us online, on Facebook, on YouTube, my Father, anywhere, my Father, I pray, Lord, that your light will shine over them in the name of Jesus. Lord, Amen. Holy Ghost, call my Father and give all the listening list, list ears. That at the Amen. end, we have the cause to rejoice, Lord. For Amen. in Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You are all welcome in the name of our Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. My brothers and sisters, uh, before we go to the program, I want you to know that today is the last day of the fasting and prayer. If you have not yet been on the program, please, you can uh, still come to the house. It is very, very important. As a member of this group, when we talk of a fasting and prayer like this, do your best to keep in. I want to tell you what prayer can do. Prayer heal. Prayer bring transformation. Prayer bring freedom. You are going to hear the testimony of our brother. I tell you the truth. This place you are seeing, place of Good Morning Jesus Family Foundation, is a place of seed. When you are found, you come to this program. You follow this program, you believe that God is holy. You just believe in his word, live by his word. God will not allow untimely death to take your life. Mm -hmm. I want to invite our brother after the prayer yesterday, the miracle that happened in that took place in the life of our brother. Please, our brother, Dan, uh, over to you, please, so that we can go to the message. Okay, good morning. Good morning, Jesus Christ Foundation. Good morning, everybody, good morning. this morning. Good morning, my brother. May God bless everybody this morning. My testimony go like my testimony go like this. Yesterday, yesterday we are doing prayer in the afternoon. When we not say that if they end the prayer like a, is by after two. When the prayer just end after two. One of my neighbors, she go outside, go and buy something. When the boy return, when my friend return, but if something that she buy is not the one that we are we are using called pande, pande yam. Okay, I told her, okay, don't don't lose the pande yam, leave the pande yam. I will take the pande yam to go and add money joint to collect another one. When I go down, I just carry my basket. I want to enter road. I look road. They look the Beside, there's, there's no vehicle. When I just go in, I just, I just, I just move. I sit there in front of my house. I hear somebody just a shout, 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 just a shout. I say, make I turn, make I just turn. I see the the vehicle, the the tire of the vehicle, just push me to go. Now I rush, now I run, now I run, come off for road. As I just run, come off for road. Now I come say, Jesus. If I know what's happening. The tire now go bang for my foot, it go bang, go return. The motor now don't, it don't fall down for, for one side. Now I shall come down and say, what happened? Now I come with now I come to the shelf for, for that. I just hope, thank God, if you not be the side of the, the passenger, the passenger, the tire not be down, like, remove for the, for the car. It's driver side. Now the tire now he, now he remove for the this. Now I come ask myself, say, what did I go tell good morning, Jesus Christ by this show? I will just tell and say, uh, after this prayer, I just come back and switch to your to my en enemy. Yes, yes. I just begin to recall evangelist yesterday, so it happened to me. I'm very sure. I'm very happy yesterday. I'm very happy for my life yes yesterday. I don't know. And then I saw my life was just and yesterday. I don't just know. That's, that's my testimony. Thank God bless you. you. Mm. Right? Do we hear that? that he was going. The tire is somebody that was driving the vehicle. His tire pulled and begin to pursue. If that tire, if I wish that tire jam him, how is he going to go? No. Or as that man, as they were shouting, that man that his tire pulled, he lose control and he faced him. You can say that to God, we are. We are in the safe hand of God. Thank you, Jesus. 
want to tell you that God is with us. He will yes, not so. We are yes, secure and secure. secure. Mm. I want to tell you as you follow Jesus, mm. Jesus will not leave you alone. Mm. Amen. He's our Amen. refuge. He's our protector. Mm. He's our mm. defender. He's the mm. all in all we have. Mm. The only thing you need to do, you yield yourself to Jesus and testimony mm. will always go with you. Exactly. Amen. 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 Nothing will take your life, or you will not Amen. die. Amen. Die Amen. accident. Amen. You will not die on timely death. Amen. 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 That is Amen. assurance we have in Jesus that He will Amen. always keep us in the hold of His hand. Amen. I want to tell Amen. you, God who have done it for our brother Daniel will do your own. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's go to the Bible this morning to hear what God has for us this morning. I was um, preparing a message, but I have administration to go and treat of this message that said, Where is my honor if I am your father? Where is my honor? In the book of Malachi, chapter 1, we are going to read verse 1, Malachi, chapter 1, verse 1. Are we there? Yes. Go ahead, please. The burden of the word of the Lord is to Israel by Malachi. I should continue. Yes, you read it to okay. ten. Okay. I have loved you, said said the Lord. Yet ye say, wherein had thou loved us? Was not Esau, Esau, Jacob brother? Said the Lord. Yet I love Jacob, and I hate Esau, and lay his mountain, and his heritage wasted for the dragon of the wilderness. Whereas Adon said, we are improved, in we perish, we are improved rich, improved rich, but we will return and build the desolate place. Thus said the Lord of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down, and they shall call them the burden of wickedness, and the people against whom the Lord at indignation forever. And ye and your eyes shall see, and ye shall say, say, the Lord will be magnified from the border of Israel. A son honoreth his father, and a servant his master. If then I be a father, where is my honor? And if I be a master, where is my fear? Said the Lord of hosts unto you, O priest, Thou despite my name, and ye say, Wherein have I despised thy name? Ye offer pollution, poll polluted bread unto my altar, and you say, Wherein have I have we polluted thee? In that ye say, the table of the Lord is contemptible. And if ye offer the blind for sacrifice, is it not evil? And if ye offer the lamb and, and seek, is it not evil? Offer it now unto thy governor. Will he be pleased with, the, with thee? Or accept thy person, said the Lord of hosts. And now I pray you, beseech God that he will be glorious unto us. This hath been, been by your means. Will he regard your person, said the Lord of hosts? Who is there, even among you, that could shut the door for naught? Neither do ye kindle fire on my altar for naught. I have, I have no pleasure in you, said the Lord of hosts. Neither will I accept an offering at your hand. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. 
brothers and sisters, you look into your life and check how you are being offering pollute offering to God. Pollute time. Pollute time. Irrelevant time. You, that is a time many of us are offering to God. You see, years back, the whole world have neglected God. But you are seeing today, you are seeing today now, many of them, they are now realizing that he is their father. Am I right? Eh? Exactly. Eh? The whole world yes, have realized. Right. Many, many people in the world are still realizing that they are realizing now God is their master. But some people are still saying, no, if he's our master, why is it that death now all over the world? Because of ignorance. Friends, each time I read this place, I look into my life proper. What service, irrelevant service, am I rendering to God? Relevant service. Am I rendered to God? Service, render service to God, not with your sincere heart. And uh, remember them topic. See, if then I be a master, where is my Lord? Mm. If then I be a master, where is my Lord? Please pay attention. If then I be the master of your life, where is my honor? We honor the people in the world, but we don't honor God. We don't honor him, we call him our Lord, but we don't fear him. If you fear God, you will not tell lie. If you fear God, you will not cheat. If you fear God, you will obey his word. If you fear God, you will not doubt this Bible. If you fear God, each time you hear his word, you will obey it. You will not, you will not, you will not jeopardize with it. If I be your master, where is my honor? Now you offer those polluted bread. Pollute time, you don't read your Bible. The time you are tired, that you're, you are being exhausted. That is the time you will not carry Bible. As you are reading the Bible, you are sleeping. Before you know what happened, you have reached the following morning. Friend, you can say that uh, we offer pollute time to God. Irrelevant time. Time that is not important to us. As I'm talking right now, people are sleeping. They are full. They don't. They are not sitting down to pay attention, friend. Because such people, they look at. They cannot give God such a wonderful time like this. A time like this that a sleep used to sweet. How will I offer it to God? How will you tell me not to jump prayer by this time when I support when I need you don't you don't remember that that is a time that a slave used to sweet? Yes, it's a precious time to you. God deserves the best of your time. Yes. God deserves the best of your life. God deserves the best. If you are not giving the best time, your best time to God, you are giving your best time to Satan. If you are not giving the best of your life to God, you are giving it to Satan. But today, many people in the world are giving their best time to Satan, to social media, to YouTube, doing rubbish, to WhatsApp, listening to all those nasty videos. The time, the, their best time, when they have tired, that is the time they will not remember, I need to pray. But God is not accepting all those things that men are doing in the world. 
But we as children of God, look at it, and then you begin to analyze. He said, and if ye offer the bread for sacrifice, is it not evil? Brand, okay, if you offer the brand for sacrifice, is it not evil? And if he offer the lame and sick, is it not evil? Offer it now unto the governor. Will he be pleased with, with, with it or accept the person? Said the Lord of hosts. Offer it to your governor. Will he accept it? That is what God is asking you. When you want to see governor, you dress proper, you look for the best clothes in your hunger to wear because you are going to see governor. But when you want to go to church, you carry those clothes that you are using anyhow on ground, you will wear it to God. You respect the governor more than God. Because you know that as you are going to governor, you want to go and see, see, uh, you want to go and uh, you, you want to see a governor. But do you not value governor more than God? Friends, when you are going to see governor, you look for a wonderful gift to go and present to governor. You know that if you can please the, the heart of a governor, governor reward will bless you. But today, many people don't know anymore how to praise God. Many people are not looking. Praising God is evil. Many people today <laughs> are not asking, 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 but they don't know how to work to praise God. There is a need for us to understand that the God we are talking about is the Almighty. You need to have this understanding. They were showing for God by word, by offer, by offer to him animal that are sick, sick animals, sick things, things that are sick, those sick things, things that does not work, cause them nothing. That is why David said, I will not offer anything to God. That will not cost me nothing. But today, Christians are offered time, selfish interest, things that does not cost them anything to God. My brothers and sisters, somebody today to repent for sin will tell you, no, how if I not repent now, if I not repent to do away with this man, with this woman, how am I going to be? Friend, do you think that God will abandon you? God will not abandon you. You refuse to offer that uh, what you refuse to let that old cargo go for Jesus to come in because you value that old cargo more than your savior, more than your soul. That is the life people are living. But God does not want such things in the life of every believer. And now, as a believer in Christ, we must give to God the best we have. Because we know that God he owes our life. We must give him a living sacrifice. We must give our life to him as a living sacrifice. Let's read in Romans chapter 12, verse 1. Romans chapter 12, verse 1. Romans 12, verse 1. Romans 12, verse 1. I beseech you. Therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your body a living sacrifice, wholly acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Yes, God bless you. He said, I beseech you, wherefore, brethren, by the mercy of God, that ye present your bodies as what a living sacrifice, a living sacrifice, wholly acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. If you read that in verse 2, it says, And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewal of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and a perfect way of God. But today, many people, many people are still conformed to the things of this world. 
Many people are still conformed to sin, conformed to immorality, conformed to all these selfish interests. Do not conform to, with those, uh, to those things. It is very, very important. We must spend, look at it, the time we spend in prayer and Bible study should be at the, at the close time of the day, the time that you know that is very, very important to you. Not when you are too tired to do anything else. Friend, you need to have this, you need to have this thing in your mind. Let's read in Malachi, uh, in the book of a Proverbs. Proverbs chapter 3. Let's read Proverbs chapter 3, verse 8, uh, verse 9. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 9. Chapter 3, verse 9. Honor the Lord with thy substance and with thy first fruit of all thy increase. Do you see that? But today, when people hear that, we talk about substance. When people hear we talk about the honor God with your life, with your money, people will get offended. Say, so why will I honor God with money? Yes, friend, honor the Lord. Honor the Lord with what? With the substance. What is substance? What is substance? What is substance? I'm asking a question. Money. The works of our hand. The mm. works Some of money. our hand. Any other person? It can also be money. Can also be money? Go ahead. Uh, you that read the Bible, I saw you want to say something. Yeah, with, with what you value most. God bless with you. What is with, special to you. With what is special to you. Honor God with what? With your substance. Mm. And with the first fruit of what of all that increase, not the world. But how do you offer the first fruit to God? When you hear we talk about first fruit, you say these people again they have come. This is the word of God because of ignorance. Ignorance has put you in poverty. Ignorance has put delay into your life. Ignorance has put a stumbling block into your life. You cannot give God the best of your life, and you are expecting God to give you the best. <laughs> Eh? How is it possible? Friends, somebody was asking me yesterday, how did you marry your wife? How did you see that beautiful wife? I said, my friend, it's not me. It's God that gave me that beautiful wife. I was there when God showed me my son. Go to your wife. I, he revealed my wife to me. I didn't have, before I married that, my wife, I didn't see her in my life. I never knew her. Friend, if you learn how to give the best of your life to God, God will learn how to give best to your life. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We are four more, uh, four months and, and a few days, few days ago now. But do you know, since all these days, all these four months, eh, I have never quarreled with my wife. My wife never opened her mouth to insult me. Friend, that is it. When you learn how to honor God, God will learn how to honor you. If you don't honor God, you are expecting God to honor you. You can pray, 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 pray when you have super glue in your hand. Eh? That super glue, you don't put that super glue. If you don't have it, I will, show, I will show you where you can buy the very one that is very strong. I tell you the truth. If you cannot give the best of your time to God, you are giving that best to Satan. If you cannot give the best in your life to God, you are giving it to Satan. If you cannot give the best space in your heart to God, you are giving it to Satan. Friend, if God did not occupy the best in your heart, Satan is occupied that space. This is the truth of the gospel. We must break out of ignorance. We must break out of poverty. You are asking God, you are asking, there are things that God is giving to me, and I begin to surprise. Not by not you have money, not I tell you the truth, it is not what you have in your account that make you to be a rich man or a rich woman. It is what you have in your heart. And what have you able to do for other people? That cannot able to reward you. Friend, but today we just value money. We put this money on our head more than any other things. Let's read also in the book of Exodus chapter 22, verse 29. Exodus chapter 22. Exodus 22, 
Are we there? Thou shalt not delay. Okay. Who is reading? Sister Thou shalt not delay. Brother, read it louder. Your voice is low. Thou shalt not delay to offer the first fruit, first to ripe fruit, and of the liquors, the firstborn of thy son shall not give thee unto me. Okay, do you see that? Thou shalt not delay to offer the first of the reap fruit to God. Thou shalt not delay. <laughs> but people will tell you, why will I do that? People will say, why will I give God my first fruit? But you can you are praying, you are praying. There are things that God have there are things that God has said. Honor me. If I be a master, where is my honor? If I be a master, you don't obey me. You say I'm your master. How is it possible? I'm asking a question. How is it possible? I be a master, but you don't follow my you don't follow my instruction. I be a master, you don't obey me. I be a master, you don't fear me. I be a master, you don't follow my teachings. How can you say you are I'm your master? How is it possible? Let's see also in verse, uh, let's see in the book of uh, Luke chapter 6. Let's see in Luke chapter 6, verse 40, 46. Luke chapter 6, verse 46. Luke chapter 6, verse 46 says, and why call ye me, Lord, Lord, and do not the things which I say? Go down, go, go okay. down. Whatsoever cometh to me, whosoever cometh to me, and heareth my saying, and doeth them, I will say, I will show you to whom he is like. He is like a man which built an house, and diggeth deep, and laid the foundation on a rock. And when the flood arose, the stream, beat vehemently upon that house and could not shake it for it was founded upon a rock but he that heareth and doeth not is like a man that without a foundation built an house upon the earth against which the stream didn't beat vehemently and immediately it fall it fell and the rain of that house was great yes god bless you do you see that that person is like a fan, is like a person that is building. You have no foundation. Because of you have been hearing, you are not obeying, you spend or you spend your money on necessary. You spend your money on sickness. You spend your money on troubles. You spend your money on things, irrelevant things. After you spend money, you begin to ask yourself, how did I spend this money? You are building your home. Somebody is just there collecting your money, telling you, I'm building a whole wonderful home. You started your building years ago, all till today. You have not even reached a roofing. Because you are spending, you are you are working like a jackknife. Because you fail to obey him, somebody is there doing what? Taking the money to do his own selfish interest. Because of your disobedience. Because you fail to want to follow your master, to live by it. Do you see? He said that that person, I will show you unto who that person is. That build a house, you build a house on top of a rock. When we come and begin to wave it, because you are, who is that rock that he's talking about? Who is that rock? Jesus. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus is the rock because you have made him to be your master. You have That's made him to be overseer of your life. He will always be there to defend you. If only you, as you are hearing the message, you decided to work, to live by it. But there are people that are argue of the word of God. People that don't have the that don't have the fear of God. They tell you God is their father, but they don't fear God. They don't fear God. If you fear God, you can't go to Komu and begin to tell her to deceive Komu. You want to collect the money. You hear when our sister said that day. That he, she told Komu before that he, he, she didn't see her husband. But when she became a Christian, she realized that the uh, uh, her heart was tormenting her. Friend, do you, do you see her heart? Because your heart is tormenting you. You went to Komu and said, Komu, I don't see my husband. Because you want to collect money, 
and you 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 cannot go to take Komu, but your husband is is coming is is it's like a snake coming to that house. He don't like this, I don't like this. It's me entered to the house so that nobody will see him. Because you want to eat the money of government. I pray God of heaven will help you for you to understand the standard of God. We cannot jeopardize with the standard of God if only we want to make heaven at the end of this uh, journey. Mm. Let's read Exodus chapter 20 also. Exodus chapter 20. Exodus here. Therefore, we, we pray. Exodus chapter 20, verse 12. Are we there? Exodus chapter 20, verse 12. Yes. Please. Honor thy father and thy mother, that thy day may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth, giveth thee. Yes, God bless you. It God said, honor your father and your mother, that your day may be long upon the land which the Lord has given thee. And much more, therefore, if you now honor your father, and your father bless you, and much more the father who created that, that your earthly father. God placed a value on that issue of respecting parents. For uh, God placed a great value anybody but anybody that still despise their parents, and there is also what? There is also a punishment. If God can place a value in such that way, in, in, in that uh, issue of parents, and much more him, honor the father and the mother. For you to know that God, God has a rule. When we learn how to follow God's rule, we will learn how to work to receive his blessing. Maybe you have been here, you have not been following God's way because. You claim you are you are a children of God, but you are not a children of God. How can you claim that you are a children of God, that you don't listen to him, that you don't fear him, that you don't follow his word, that you hear his word, and you will and you, will, you hear on this other ear, he will go out on the other ear. You hear today, you say, no, Lord, it's not your time. Tomorrow I obey, not today. Friend, but you see where we read, said, don't what? Don't delay it. There is a need for us to know that the Bible is what is true. Is anybody here you believe on Bible? Yes, sir. Is yes, anybody sir. here you believe on the Bible? Yes, yes sir. sir. You believe on the Bible. Do you really follow the Bible? Since you have come to join this program, by God's grace, this program has been opened your eye. Do you really live according to the Bible? Yes, sir. You hear the truth and you say, right now, I give out. Friend, yes. you need to know that. God is coming in Joker. This morning, I want you to bow down your head. Bow down your head and tell the Lord, if you say yes, sir, how many of you this year, you went to go and pay your first fruit? How can I do that? Ah! Friend, this is what the, the Bible is true. You say you are not to work. How can you say that? Friend, the Lord instructed every of his children to work to honor him with all our substance, with our substance. Fear him, obey him. If I be a father, if I be a master, where is my honor? Talk to mm. God this morning. If God is a master of your life, do you fear him? Do you allow him to take the best place in your heart? If God takes the best place in your heart, God will tell you that you are spending money on rubbish thing of buy all those things you call you call Brazil hair. That Brazil hair will send you to hell. All these artificials. If God be a father to you, God will tell you how you should dress. If God be a father to you, God will tell you how you should live with your neighbor. That you don't need to be fighting your neighbor. You don't need to be quarrel with your neighbor. You need to live in peace, not in business. If God be a father, God will tell you, do not go to Komu and begin to tell lies. If he be a master unto you, he will tell you how you should go. Talk to God this morning. Talk to God. Tell God you have heard him. Tell him the area where you, you have, that the word of God have judged you. The word you have seen, that the word of God is true, that the your eyes are open this morning. You have seen that you have been the one that I'm holding you, that hold your blessing of not honoring the Lord. Tell the Lord, I am sorry. 
Thank you. Share the Lord this morning. I I start today. I'm making amendment today. I'm making amendment right now. I'm be saying that I'm not following God. Tomorrow, when we come tomorrow, we will see the other part of this message. Father, we want to appreciate you, my Father, this morning. I want to appreciate you because you are the Almighty. I want to bless you. I want to glorify you. Lord, your word has dished out the gate. You have opened our eyes, Lord, to understand what you demand for us. You demand the best time. You demand the best place in our heart. You demand the best, O oh Lord, in our wardrobe. You demand the best, O oh Lord, in all in our life. Father, we are grateful this morning. We ask you, Father, to take on the glory. We ask you, Lord, receive on the glory. We ask you, Lord, Father, to forgive us where we have not been following you. Father, this morning we make our amendment, Lord. Father, we repent for our sin. Lord, we turn to you. Help us, Father, in glory. Give us that mind, Lord, my Father, to follow you. That at the end of this journey, your name will be glorified. I pray that this message will not stand against us. This message, oh Lord, my Father, will not rubbish us. This message, oh Lord, my Father, in glory, will not cause us sorrow on the last day. Father, I don't want to be like that person that built a house, my Father, without foundation. Lord, I want to build my foundation on the solid rock, the solid rock, which is Jesus. Holy Father, help me to be a hearer and the doer of your word. That at the end of this journey, we will have the cause to glorify. Lord, I pray for your children that are out there, my Father, this morning. I pray for them that your light will shine on them. I pray, oh Lord, my Father, that this message will be planted in their heart. This message will be just in their life. Lord, they will be obedient to your word. That is out there, those that are asking us to pray for them. Bless them and protect them. Defend them, oh Lord, and grant them their heart desire. That Amen. I, your name will be glorified. Lord, we still pray for those that will listen to this message often and often. Even those that will share the message, I pray that your blessing will go with them. In the name of Jesus, blessed be the holy name of God. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Amen.